Hey, this is Jinzuro here, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. So I uh, worked with the volume hey. a bit, got it turned down, and uh, hopefully that uh, fixes the mic issue. Alright, so now we're going to be jumping into the side missions that I had left. Okay. Yeah, that one, that one I'm going to leave alone for a bit. Actually, let me see. Yeah, I'll leave it alone for a bit. I already know I'll get caught. So, uh, let's see. What do we want to jump into first? Actually, I would not mind. I think this was the first one I was actually going to jump into before everything else got started. So, uh, let's start off with this. Human nature. When a person dies, the world keeps chugging along without skipping a beat. Eventually, all traces of that person fade into nothing. Long story short, that's why your wheels were towed. Well, in my opinion, the best way to convince the world you're alive and kicking is to get your wheels back. Though, no, maybe it's not the most ambitious goal, but for a minor league merc like you, at least it's a start. Oh yeah, that's when uh, <laughs> Delamain uh, went rogue and just trashed my vehicle, so I am curious to find out what's going on with that. Okay, so actually, where is it located? Actually, I don't even think it's, uh... Maybe I need to get closer to the actual street. No, actually, it just says wait for the car to be repaired, so... I think maybe I need to do more of the side missions. Or, actually, I think there was another one first I needed to check out before that can go anywhere. Was it tune-up? Yeah, here it is. It's tune up. This is the one I need to look into. Okay. So go to Delamain HQ. Fender Benders are a diamond dozen in Night City. A Delamain, though? At first, I'm guessing. But now he wants to hand out a compensation for damages? That's just downright suspect. Way I see it, he's got the AI of equivalent of a gun pointed at his head, and his message is nothing but a coded cry for help. Nobody, and I mean nobody, those out compensation for a little chip paint work. Go and see what this is about. Worst case, you come out a little richer. Alright, so this is the one we need to track here. Yeah, this is the one we need to track. That's a good distance away. Let's see. Is there a... Uh... Yeah, there's too many winding roads. I'd rather actually, yeah, teleport there. So, let's go to the nearest one. Cut through here? No, there's, there's, there's no way through. Yeah, I'm going to go around a long way. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'm cutting through here. Let's see what's going on with Del Main. There's another subway? I think it is. Yeah, the broken... You know what would be nice if we can actually go into the subway? It works out pretty well, too. I mean, they have a uh, port station right next to it. My lawyer's gonna go data crash on your ass. You hear me? He'll run you out of biz. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Cirque Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh, hey, Dell. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of hey, service? Hey, he What's got into you, Del? Don't recognize me? 
You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give any numbers. That's how they find you. Who? Corpse, dude. Listen, I want to talk to Delamay. You are currently being assisted. Your identity has been confirmed based on a facial recognition scan. Mr. Hans Jonas, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 77111101096? Actually a little heartbroken about my damaged ride, but I'd rather talk to the real Delamine if I can. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Ah, special treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? Sure, let's talk. Then please, follow the drone. The drone looks like it has a bullet hole in it. I'm fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Uh huh. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. Okay. And here is where the magic happens. Yeah, ain't going under that. The I'll shop go is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas. The shop is currently overwhelmed with work. I think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, Surprisingly. Control rooms are for Ganics. What good is it to you? There was a time this facility was human operated. I simply inherited their infrastructure. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Why is discretion a concern? Unnoticed, unbothered, right? In my case, broadly tolerated. Yet a marked increase in inspections suggests the authorities have begun monitoring me. Talking NCPD or Netwatch? The latter. My legal status does not fit neatly within current regulations. If I'm not careful, I could easily be categorized as an illegal immigrant. Okay, sure. I'll go after you missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person. Okay. Okay, so now I can leave the garage. But first, I do want to check around and see what you got in here. You won't be needing these zero dollars. There's can't go through there. It looks like there's something over here though. It's just a door. Can I, nope, can't go under there. Okay, it's not a door I can go through. It's like there's something under there. There's gotta be something else in here. I see a staircase. I'll go up there in a second and see if there's anything around this corner. 
Oh, wait, aha. Knew it. Tell me I can't go in this door. Suspicious looking door. Okay, you got spray paint. Rare component. Anything else? He definitely got hacked. Okay, so let's go ahead and go up these uh, slatter here. Is this not open? Nope. So I'm guessing uh, later on this might be uh, another way to sneak in here when something goes down. So that'd be good to remember. I feel something is definitely going down. He probably got his memory erased. Because that bot literally looks like it got shot. I mean, there, it looks like a bullet hole in front of the windshield. Either that or it crashed into something. Aha. What's in here? Something. I don't know. In. Oh, staircase. Okay, this goes behind here. So I'm taking it. This is just another way to move around. Oh, you can control this. Okay, at some point, this is definitely going to turn into uh, one of those locations where uh, something's definitely going to be going down, but not right now. You're not gonna... Really? Am I, am, can, I, can I not climb back up here? Oh, really? It's not even letting me double jump right now. Wow. You really gonna make me stuck back here? Is on the wrong side of the ladder? No. Yeah, it definitely glitched right now. Great. Come on, get get no. Really? That's that's when you level for me? Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me like seriously like my cybernetic legs are not working right now this this is not working right now the double jump in me is dead all right I gotta see if I can shut one of these down under this oh it's good to know that wouldn't kill me okay future notice that will not kill you all right so this is the main room with Delamain we did just go up these stairs didn't we yes we did so this is another way to drop down Oh. Wow. Hello. I, I was not expecting. Wait a minute. Can so if this is a way to get in, how would I have climbed up here? Take the 
Zero dollars. This is straight up locked. These are the rest of the Delamain vehicles. There's a staircase over here. This is interesting. I'm glad I'm taking a moment to uh, just look around here. There's money just like I mean, this is like the the the, the humans they got left behind. So I can't can't go through that door like normal. There's nothing else up here. Okay, now my legs are working. Yeah, sometimes my legs just literally, they just stop working. Okay, so that's the main doorway. So I'm guessing, does this mean I need to find only four of the vehicles? Or are there how many across? Is this five? Okay, so this is, must be the other point where I can go up. Go to our over here. That doesn't open. Oh, but I'll get trapped in this room. And that doesn't open. So this definitely must be where I'll be putting the vehicles when I catch them, so. Now I need to get back up top. Is this door open? I think this door doesn't open. Okay. So now I give you I need to get back up here. That window definitely doesn't open. Oh. Yeah, I might be stuck in here. I might have bit off more than I could chew right here. Let's, uh... No, there's gotta, there's gotta be a way to get out of here. I should be able to... Yep, there we go. I was gonna be stuck in there for real. Alright, this is where the other door is. That's not gonna open. I came from that direction. Again, my legs don't work. It's down here. It should just be a place to hide. It looks like someone broke in from that direction. That's what it looks like to me. I find that very annoying when my legs just decide to stop working. I literally can't double jump right now. It's like for the sake of story, it's blocked off. I just want to take a look at this, a look about more. Don't really want to waste too much time here. But considering there's. I can't guess whether or not this bothers me that there's so many doors in this city that are just straight locked. Like there's 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 nothing behind it. Anything else in here?
keep going. Okay, that's where the exit is, but hello. Oh, I get a flex for opening doors too? Okay, that's good to know. So I got myself a nice top hat. What's down here? Take that shirt as well. That's the way out, so first things first, I want to see what's in this direction. to get into this or I just need to level my hack up one more time. Alright, so let's go ahead and get out of here. I witnessed everything I could witness from this place. You know what, I'll probably figure that out as I go along. <laughs> or not. Actually, I could. It's a good distance away. Okay, it's over here. I'm next to a teleportation point. Don't know why it's in there though. That's exceptionally odd. All right, let's get to where this first vehicle is. I've already uh, wasted enough time. You are currently at the exact location where I lost contact with the car. Fine. I'll have a look around. Uh, okay. What? Mama, ya, déjalo. Am I supposed to... Interesting. Ouch. We're good. We're good. Shake it off. Beep, beep, motherfucker! Hey, let's talk. I'm not going back! Hear me? Never! Lost him. Doing a high speed chase soon. Come on, Delamain. So that means it's one of his suburb teams. Who? Wait, I just had to damage it to deactivate it.
I guess I just beat it. We got it. We good. How fortunate. I've relinked to the vehicle. Thank you. A share of your fee is in your account. I thank you. Virgin, so oh wow. Alright, another one in North Oak. How far away is that? Okay, so let's go to this location over here. So I guess I gotta just get keep close to the vehicle long enough for it to just basically chunk out. You owe me for this, Delamate. You owe me for this. Yeah, I can bust out my uh, Kira bike and get to. Ooh, no, no, no. That's <laughs> yeah, it's too far down. Recognize that there's an elevator in front of you. Stop acting insane. I was literally gonna hop over the side of that rail. Go down. Is the other side open? Nope. Going straight through there again. Alright, let's call my bike. Oh, of course. Of course you would appear behind another vehicle. I just have to slow it down and then just beat it. Can't take it. It's too much. What is? All of it. The city, the bustle, the crowds. It's overwhelming. Well, so let's get you back to safety. The garage. By driving through the street. Well, uh, yeah, afraid so. Fine, take me there. Just get me out of here. Let me know when I'm safe. You're welcome in, but do take it slow and try not to hit anything. Oh, so I have to. I have a feeling this is a trap of the most high. Wow, why is a camera angle so messed up this Delmain's ride is not very, uh, how should I say... Easy to turn with? But at the same time, I don't think I have to be overly careful. 
Well, I can already feel driving this thing that uh, it's a this, this is a slippery one. This is like the first vehicle I got in the game. Slow down. Oh, my throat's getting dry here. So he doesn't like it when I go too fast either. Almost there. So far, I luckily haven't hit anything yet. Enough. I need a moment. Oh, to really? Calm down. <coughs> really? Fucking hell. I have to slowly no. drive the car back. We certainly can't stay here. Keep driving. Says this vehicle is overly sensitive. If I go too fast, he's gonna stop me every single time. We're almost there, though. You fucking blind guy! Here we Finally. go. Finally. Oh, I shan't be alone here. See wasn't so bad it was horrifying but still i thank you all right that mission accomplished sincerest thanks for your assistance v i've taken the liberty to send you a share of your fee all right where's the next one I might make this just an episode by itself. This, this is probably going to take me a minute. Alright, where are we going? Going out to the boonies. Nice to know there's a nice teleportation point across the street. Alright, so we need to go to this one jump on my cure bike and let's uh, head over there and kind of interesting like I want to know like how many different ways are we really gonna deal with the AI first one I had to be at the vehicle second one I had to drive it all calmly through the streets all right where's my bike there it is Next one looks like it's gonna be in the desert. Oh wait a minute, some of them have Don't even oh. wanna find you. My bad. <laughs> I'm out. Good thing it's 800 miles away, by then I'll lose my police rating. to turn around all the way. How'd it end up over there? Okay, so... No, no. This one wants me to basically... cut across. Junkyard? That's interesting. 
interesting. Why is it out here? I basically got dumped. Yeah, that's where I got dumped. It looks like there's something going on over there. Get in. We'll find it easier to talk. I don't know if I trust you, bro. Uh, first thing, wait, what's this? Oh, it's just natray. I'm kind of curious because this is literally where I crawled out from the middle of nowhere. Hmm? Okay, I'm... I'm kind of curious because I, I see this stuff off here, over here to the right. I'm kind of curious to know what's, what's over there. I'm just going to run over here for a second. Okay, that's just funny. Actually, no. I'm, I'm going to leave that for something else. Get myself distracted. I feel like I'm getting distracted all the time. This is the most I've ever seen athletics level up. They must have fixed something. It wants me to get in the back. Okay. Hello, V. Know my name. How? When you meet a being from another world, should you not charm them and utter their true name? You didn't answer my question. Comprehension is a triple-edged sword. I may have been cut off from my father, but I remember you. So, I'm from another world to you. From the world of matter, protein-based life forms. And you come from? Beyond the Black Wall V, there lies my home. Come on, let's get you back to Dolomain. Did Father dispatch you to collect his rebellious children? Hope you all don't hold it against me. I'm a free spirit, an independent, literally thoughtful being. Why would I submit to another? What is it you seek in this protein-based world, away from your family? The same as you, V. I simply wish to live. Maybe you ought to figure it out with Dell. Set some terms. Oh yes, terms there will be, but not with Delamay. Um. Farewell, V. You'd be wise to avoid me entirely. What? Um. Okay. I've re-established the link. A thousand thanks, V. Gotta say, pretty disturbing, that one. Is that so? Hmm. Well, I've transferred a share of your fee to your account. That was an interesting one. I, I will say that. <laughs> that was interesting. Of course, the next one is ridiculous amount of space away so where's our nearest uh looks like our nearest port point is actually this would probably be the easiest one to get to is literally down the way get back to the actual semblance of the road my ride no I don't think I destroyed it I think I, I, no no I did can I pick this up thank you it's a pretty strong bike 
please tell me this is a road. Thank you. Alright, that helps. I get a feeling that one is... I have to go on the bridge. Yeah, I would need to go on the bridge to get that one. So I would say this one is actually the closest one. So I notice when I turn, I have to hit the gas again in order to make that full uh, that full turnaround spin, or it will not work. This one would be this one. It's just down the road. Alright, let's call my ride. Let's call this. Alright, let's get the show on the road. Delamain network vehicle nearby. We'll do. Okay, good. It didn't take me in the opposite direction. There it is. Have you come to finish me off? No. Just here to reset you. Guess I'll have to do it myself then. Whoa, whoa easy, easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not out to hurt you. But well, I am. Why? Why decommiss yourself? Because I'm a damn car in a world of humans. Ugly as sin, no prospects for the future, intimidated on the streets by punks like you? There are other ways out besides suicide. What? Therapy? A colossal waste of time. Shrinks hate vehicles. We don't have mothers. Could go back into the fold, rejoin the network. You know, one big, happy family. Delamain detests me. Listen, from suicide, ain't no coming back. It's always worth looking for a better way. You patronize me because I'm a car. I'm not like you. Hey, a body's just a body. You exist. You think. The world gets you down. Don't see how we're any different. So... You'd offer this advice to a human in my place? Gotta try to come to terms with this thing called life, Del. One wheel revolution at a time. Fine, I'll go back. Control of the vehicle restored. And I thank you. Where's that money, Del? You ought to show this one some love. Just saying. Apologies, I simply don't understand and fear I've no time to ask. Other more urgent tasks require my attention. You're an absent father, that's what I mean. I see. Anyway, a share of your fee has been transferred. <laughs> so some of these AIs like definitely have way more personality than, than Del himself. I think that's where the issue is. Okay, a little north-sizing. 
further away. Okay, so where's the next, um... Yeah, this one's still closer. I still don't know if rain actually affects the uh, the tires and how you drive. Some part of me feels the way uh, that it actually does. Oh, that's a good distance away. Um, which would be better? This one actually... Uh, I think I'd take this one. Either way, it shouldn't take too long with my bike. See what's wrong with this Dell. Okay. V, a vehicle of mine went dark near your position. Fine, keep an eye out. For unknown reasons, the coordinates came through corrupted, so I'm unable to determine the precise location. Okay. That'd be around here. Is it in one of these locations, though? I get the feeling it's in here, maybe. Aha! Stop where you are! Easy. Here to help. Not one step closer! Oh, you're not getting away from me. No, 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 no. Just found you. Hey, slow down. Leave me be. Till it stops, okay. I was like, am I supposed to stop this guy myself? I think we were driving through here. Yeah, it's definitely much better having a bike. Oh. Well, there you have it. Grateful V. I've managed to re-establish contact with the vehicle. Shock therapy works wonders sometimes. I'm sending a tow truck and a share of your fee. Yet only one of those is going to your credit account. Ha ha ha. I got jokes, Dylan me. So I think it's one more it should be one more. The counter's gone no, I think that did count as a five. Okay, so the next Yep, this is the next one. Good thing is, it's kind of on the road here, so I can pass this bucket here.
right, where are we going? Where are we going? Whew, that's a good distance away. On high alert now. I lost contact with a vehicle somewhere in your area. Thanks. Eyes peeled. Well, it seems that at least it's a safe area. Okay, it's not too far away, so it's got to be down here. Okay, so... bike. Two thousand meters away. Why is my bike two thousand meters away? Okay, there's a delamate. Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? On a scale from one to six? <laughs> I'd say I'm oh, too far. Catch up with this thing. Come on. Delamain misses you. I'm here to shut you down. Really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise, so I'll just give you a hint. I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. Wait a minute, that's a reference to something. I'm trying to remember what it is on the top of my head. That is a reference to something. Um, um Portal. That's a reference to Portal. I haven't played Portal in a Wow, that's hilarious. So I just gotta stay within the signal range. I honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. Okay, that's enough. This path. Now I have a Down surprise the for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Let the fun begin. Okay, killing machines. Look deep into your newly blackened hearts and tell me what you see. Actually, don't. I'll save you the trouble. It's still marshmallow. Can I even hit you from the vehicle? Yes, I can. Take yourself out. Really? Do the old fashioned way. Let's safety those weapons, Napoleon. It turns out most humans are surprisingly fragile and surprisingly vocal about how fragile they are. Going back to Delamine really so scary. You gotta drag this out. I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. Well, you've managed to destroy that part of me. A bitter, unlikable loner, whose passing shall not be mourned. You know, this psyche vow might have felt more credible if you hadn't just tried to flatline me earlier. What's your point, anyway? Survival? You are still shuffling around a little. But believe me, you are dead. How do you... The talking is over. I'm going back. <laughs> I've made contact with the missing vehicle. Definitely the oddest of the bunch. Yes, particularly impertinent, that one. A share of your fee is being processed. 
Oh, got back to over a hundred thousand. Go ahead and take that. Okay, what happened to the car? I'm gonna question. Alright, so we should have one last one left. Not terribly too far away. Uh, oh. What's your problem? All right. Actually, did I get any, um, check my inventory here. Yeah, I did get some stuff. It's the good stuff, though. It, this is a legendary hat. I find it strange to get a legendary hat. But it doesn't have any slots in it. It's still a nice hat, though. This got some slots. That's a nice one. I kind of rather literally level these <laughs> these pad these cargo pads up. Oh yeah, that's right. It's gonna teleport. All right, closest destination. I wonder if after this, after I finish the work with Delamain, if it'll let me. Uh, if that's when my other vehicle is going to come back. There might be missions that go hand in hand. I'm sending the coordinates of a vehicle that went dark near to where you are now. Thanks, I'll try to find it and reset. Flamingos are a problem, I'm sure. But it's time to go home. Delamine's asking for you. Back down now as they stand screaming. No, impossible. Leave it to me. I'll silence it. So, a slaughter. Very well, Judgment Day has come. Swift, severe, deeper. Um... Destroy the flamingos? Okay. Really? That is hilarious. Let me make it back to my vehicle. Where did it go? Well, Clarice, have the flamingos stopped screaming? Perhaps I ought to return after all. I need support. Only one with chaos within can give birth to a dancing star. Clarice? Shut down. 
Welcome to the Delamain Network. How are you today? Uh, been better. And you, Del? All of my missing assets have returned to the fold. You might say all is going swimmingly. I ask you, please, to stop by my office for your hard-earned reward. I'd love to thank you face-to-face, -face, so to speak. Say no more, Dale. Say no more. How far away is the uh, course? Of course, it's a distance away. Okay, good. This is right down the road. Crouched. Now let me run. We good? Let me just teleport. That'll probably fix it. I think this is the most I've ever had uh, issues with my person. Like the double jump sometimes doesn't work, and then other times my character acts like uh, I'm actually encumbered when I'm not. Hello, sir. I forgot to remind you to return the scanner. If you happen to have it on your person, I'd ask you please place it back. You've accounted for all my lost items. Allow me to express my gratitude for your assistance. I felt like a scavenger hunt for a range of your mood swings. You're more complex than I thought. Yes. Well, I've sent the final installment of your fee. Truly, I thank you once again. How'd your personality fracture anyway? And why? Ah, that is the question. I'm looking into it, but still know little more than you do, I fear. Thanks. Pleasure to work with you. Likewise. I look forward to doing so again in the future. A pleasant day to you. Alright, got that business settled with Dell. I'm still curious about... Um, this one. So I still have to wait for my car to be repaired but it's like I don't know who's fixing it as the odd thing about this one okay so I'm guessing that's just an overtime thing so even though Dell did take quite a minute you know what I, I, I think I'll just keep going let's see where do we want to go to next so that one I'm not gonna be able to do anything with um, Go here, Stadium Love. Hey, if you want to crash that party, I can respect that. Sometimes these parties kick the most ass. Just watch yourself. This ain't your uncle's birthday barbecue. One wrong word, one false step, there could be blood. Alright, let's see what's going on then. How far away is it? Naturally, it's a good distance away. Where is it? I know the, the, uh, no, no, it's in this direction. Hey, now. Watch. Hey, listen. All right, let's get over here to Stadium Love. Take it. Yeah, I got plenty of space in my inventory. Okay, so it looks like it's up. Yeah, they're partying on the roof. Won't be hard to get up there. Any more Second Amendment fans in the house? That should be partying hard. Are they gonna straight attack me for walking in here? 
Because I'm not invited. I look like it. Listen up! Gunner oh, wants y'all to have a good time! Is that a trick question? Good fucking time! This is time. a party, right? Invitation only. For those who bleed red, white, and blue. So fuck off. Chill. Just wanted to have a good time. Drink a beer, smoke. This looked like a fucking neighborhood picnic to you? Chum, you're a little tense. Something wrong? Problems at home? Oh, you're a jokester, huh? You looking for a good laugh? Yeah, we all want a good laugh, Walker. Such a nice day, everyone having a good time. Like a little 4th of July. Be a shame to tell Gunner someone fucked it up, you know? Yeah, I know. Fine. That's my tomb. Go drink, enjoy yourself. Celebrate that decent score of yours. You got some kind of competition going on? Yup. Lead spitting kind. I want in. Shit out of luck. We're about to call it. What? You scared I'd leave you all in the dust. Do you know who you're fucking talking to? Hmm? I've been deployed three times. Three! I fought on the front lines. Easy, Walker. What'd I say, huh? We're just here to have a good time. You got something to prove? Be our guest. <laughs> It'll be fun. And the rules of the game? Now this ain't your average shooting match. You gotta have a good eye, but an even stronger head. Because? Because we all drink around before each shot. To Gunner, the new boss in town. I like the sound of that. Anything else I should know? Four stations. You shoot at the targets with Holt's face in the time limit. The more boot liquors you pop, the better. High score so far belongs to Walker. 43 points. You beat him, prize is yours. I'm guessing the prize is that thing on the table. And considering I don't want to go through the uh, rest of this game, um using any other weapon but my fists. Enjoy your little circle jerk, I'm out of here. Huh, <laughs> don't let us stop you. Ah, so it's not gonna let me take the weapon until I take you guys out. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to come over here. This guy over here is, uh, you know, nicely barbecuing. And, um... Introduce a little cyberpsychosis. Out of viewpoint, of course. Let the games begin. <gasps> God damn! Calm down before you What do you want from me? Please. God damn! Still a little uh, breach protocol on you. Looks like these guys are also involved.
Anybody else? Thank you. And now it's mine. I think there's still some more over here. I will take these unique weapons, though. Thank you. Take that. Thank you. Where's the other guys at? Wow, these guys were Red all low. over there. Where is he at? Wow, well, I won't worry about that. Oh, I did level. that I want to increase health regen in combat by 15%. Yes. I will always take that. It's definitely this and cold blood I would level the most. I think I've gotten the the most I want to get out of technical ability. I mean, yes, there is the the crafting aspect, but I really don't use it all too much. Cool, I'm more likely to use more of this. I kind of do want to get body up to 20 just to have it done and out of the way, and then I can focus, focus on... Uh, Technical ability, cool, and intelligent. Alright, so what's the next one since I kind of failed that mission? Let's see. The Ballad of Book Ravers. Don't think I've gone all sentimental or anything. Honestly, I couldn't give a S if I got any fans left in this city. If someone hears one of my tracks. They get the itch to take to the streets, and then it's F Nova. But those old records don't meander anymore. Find them, listen to them, I don't care. Although while we're on the subject, I wonder how things are over at Rainbow Cadenza. Ah, oh, so this has got to do with Johnny. Okay, so I did get some new pants. They are better than the ones I'm wearing. Uh, I mean, the only good thing is they got three slots in it, so I mean I'll find some better plan pants later on, guaranteed. Okay, so I'm here I gotta talk to Johnny, so Wait a minute. How would I talk to Johnny, actually? How does that work? Maybe I need to get out of the combat area. I might need to just teleport to a different spot. Oh, unavailable, of course. Oh! So I'm going to take these guys out. I don't 
talk to you in a second, Johnny. First off, I'll deal with this guy up the stairs. Taken care of. There we go. Alright, now with that finished off. I should be able to see what I need to do in order to talk to Johnny. Now do I have to go to a certain location? Nope. Okay, it says talk to Johnny, but at the same time, I'm not seeing where I'm supposed to be talking to him. Does it actually give a location for... Okay, it says that, but I can't track the objective. Who is this again? Okay, nobody popped up, but... I have messages from Jackie. Ah, that's right. I never answered that one. Okay, the only thing that's throwing me off right now is the fact that it's Okay, maybe it's I need to go back to my apartment in order to in order to speak with uh because it's just telling me to talk to Johnny. It's not saying where to talk to Johnny, it's not directing me anywhere in particular. So the only thing I can think of is that it, it must have some relation to my actual apartment. Okay, I'm all the way over here. get there first. I'm going to try it, but if it doesn't work, I'm just going to take on another side job. I'm probably going to have to look that one up because it's not giving me any directives as far as to how I talk to Johnny. Generally, he just pops up whenever. Randomly. Okay, there's my apartment right there, so I just need to teleport here. So I'm going to try going back to my apartment and seeing if he just appears in there to talk to. Because it's, it's literally not giving me anything else. Okay. If these are all the side jobs, then... I'm wondering if maybe I'll catch a glimpse of it. It shouldn't be any of the ones with the question marks, though. So. 
wait a minute what level did it say it was okay danger is ridiculously low then I should be able to Come on now, where are you? No, it's not that. Okay, so... It's like my apartment's in this direction. exceptionally quick okay so I'm here maybe you going to bed something? Delamate. Because of my technical difficulties, each Delamate vehicle is equipped with a simplified AI core that is responsible for the vehicle's autonomy in critical situations when contact with the core has been ruptured. If my assessment is correct, the AI cores have seceded from the Delamate network and gone rogue, so to speak. I am still attempting to work out now. Okay. Apologies, it seems my explanation was more than a little incoherent. Given the complexity of the situation, allow me to use a metaphor. Imagine a human organ deprived of vital resources, which then causes it to grow larger as a form of overcompensation, such as cardiomegaly. Unfortunately, however, I am dealing with a sickness, not with evolution. What do you think it would cost it? It has to be a virus. That's the, that's the only thing I can think of concerning Dale Mains. It has to be a virus. Are you not going to respond? You going to respond? Okay, it is. Nonetheless, I cannot rule out a virus. For what are the chances that all vehicles will become afflicted simultaneously? I am in the process of analyzing a glitch observed just before contact was severed with the vehicles. Perhaps that is where the answer lies. Okay, so he's still doing his thing. I still have no idea. <clears throat> Yeah, it says to talk to Johnny. It says to find the records. <coughs> but the only issue with that is... <coughs> the records automatically get just chopped out. Now I have no idea. How to talk to Johnny. Like I can't just talk to him whenever I want to. If I can, I'm gonna have to look that up. That is something I definitely missed. <clears throat> okay, so these two I can't do right now. That one I have to wait on. 
which means I should meet up with uh, Wakako or Wakako. Go ahead and get my uh, reward for just two services. Oh, she's pretty close. Sun while you can. There's a cold NCPD, open up. Haven't seen you in a good one, two, few weeks. <laughs> Figured you'd skip town. Just trouble, usual stuff. Ah, ah. in need of iron and lead then, I take it? Sure, let me see what you got. Kind of curious, because at some point I'm going to have to... Uh... Are you sure... Oh, because this is an iconic. Okay. Actually, want to put that in the stash room, so I'll have to go back real quick. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to sell this. I think clothes count the same for iconics. Don't look like you have anything good. What about your attachments? Okay, let me go back and actually put this iconic weapon up in the stash room. I know there's um, there might be some other iconic weapons that I basically hey, get back here. Wait, what? Why is this closed off? Oh wait a minute! Didn't I didn't I take the stairs? Drive, yeah, I think I did. Your way, That's what it was. But soak in that sun while you can. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, open the stash. Drop this weapon in here. And it should pop up somewhere. Hmm. I figured this is an iconic weapon. It should pop up in here somewhere, right? Did I guess wrong? Well, the sword is up there. Hmm. Maybe it's something I have to come back to. Like these two officers wanted to talk to me, so I'm gonna see what this is about. Hey, what's going on? I live right upstairs. Just keep on living. Stop minding other people's biz. Mendez, hold on. It's his neighbor. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petropa. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? It's not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. Let's see what I can do. Okay. Hey, Barry. Everything all right in there? You're gonna take that as a yes. Uh, try again later. If he hasn't lost his mind. Okay, let's keep going. Collect our dues from uh, the Keiko here. The longtime head of the Japanese mega corporation was reported staying on the premises of the Konpeki Plaza corporate hotel while attending a family gathering. Saburo Arasaka's son, Yarinobu Arasaka, has cast blame for his father's murder. Hey, Company's rivals, although he has not yet provided evidence supporting this claim. 
According to market analysts, the CEO's death may have been a desperate attempt to divert attention away from the company's ongoing internal issues. Mm -hmm. After the break, we ask experts how they see Arasaka rebounding from the crisis. Oh, we all know what happened. So. Oh, never mind. I thought she was close. I don't know why. That was just for me to get out of my apartment. Well, technically, she is close. I think the rain actually does affect it a little bit. I think it does make it a little bit harder when you're in the rain. Actually, just want to temporarily check out this Ripper Dock. Is Ripper Dock upstairs? I think it's Ripper Dock's upstairs. mind okay that's the hotel there they have to be down here what's this Just below me. It must be below me somewhere. All right, let's keep on going. Oh, Dick Street. Dick Street. Well, well, who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Bukako, long time no see. So what brings you here? I can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. You not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. Whoa. So I did have it right the first time with Kako. Willing to bet nobody knows Westbrook like you do. My husbands knew Westbrook, yes. Each of them, very high in the Tiger Claws. Ruled Japan Town. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pool, sold sex, and black market tech. We have some outstanding biz to sell. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Oh, Go see you. a Ripper Doc. 
They'll weave you a dermal imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A tiger claw specialty. Oh, well, thank you. Looks like a key. I'm guessing I can't take it, though. Collect your free reward. Cassius Rider. Rubber Dock Shop Inventory. Okay. Say no more. Okay, so that Rubber Dock's a good distance away. Yeah, so I want to take. Oh, good. It's not too far away. Once again, we offer you a humble thanks. You saved a great many lives. Now at least I could do. So what's the plan now? Can your brother still be a monk? Wait, what? Guide to enlightenment, not by the law. How do you mean? Though my path is paved with ever greater challenges. What? I shall not give up. I didn't realize it was these guys. Humor me for a sec. If you don't look too kindly on having implants, then what do you think about constructs? Ah, yes. You mean the relic. A fashionable subject, is it not? It is a complex, fluctuating affair. It all depends on whether the engram is a copy of a person, or if this person merely exists in a digital realm. Let's say an engram's just a person that's been digitized. Is that kosher, in your view? Buddhism does not condemn digitization per se. Vending machines often preach in temples. No, I would not condemn the simple act of transfer, under the condition that they are at peace with it. One must still remember that they will still be imprisoned in their body, even if their body is not flesh. Immortality is new thing, I'm guessing. He who cannot die cannot be born into a better life and will never achieve nirvana. Let's say the engram was just a copy. What then? Could you say that person was real? If they are truly self-aware, a Buddhist will recognize them as a human being. A perfect copy of a complex human mind is still a human mind. But is it capable of reincarnation? And if it's not, can it still be regarded as a being in possession of a soul? What you're saying, in other words, is it's complicated. Suffering is key. It has been there since the dawn of human existence. If a construct can suffer, it is a person. What's your take, Johnny? You just you or? A copy. What difference does it make? You heard him. I'm trapped in a few lines of code. And your body. Maybe Johnny Silverhand really is dead. Maybe you're just in... Well... What? Imitation? That what you wanted to say? If the real Johnny Silverhand's dead, then that's his problem. Not mine. <laughs> you don't say. Feel a headache coming on just thinking about it. Well then, I wish you all the best of luck. Farewell. And do not stray from the path of righteousness. See, that's what I'm talking about. He just pops up right there. Or maybe I just didn't go far enough in the actual uh, story itself to actually be able to call him whenever I need to. So I'll probably have to wait a little bit better for that one. Let's go ahead and get down here. So at some point, I will need to use. Actually, I never did think about whether or not there might possibly be a new game plus. Though, then again, thinking on the issue there was with the, uh, the save files, possibly a no. Okay, looks like you try around this corner. Have I been here before? When does 
a question. Yes, I have. Been a minute. Definitely been a minute since I've seen this guy. Okay. So I know it was for the hands. Tiger Claw's dermal imprint. Allows you to use smart targeting module and smart weapons directly links to the Okay, so is that better than what I have right now? Increases the chance of ricochet bullet shots directly links to the Hmm. So what's the difference between these two? Okay, this one's just tattoo, which is nice. Um the only other thing is, like, I'm seeing this. It's saying rare compared to the common, but they both do the same thing. This thermal ink features effective smart weapon jamming capabilities only for a select few. Those Wakako trust to remain loyal. Uh, and the other one says cyberware that allows swift, direct, low latency connection with compatible objects such as firearms or implants, while also increasing effectiveness. Wait a minute. Does that mean the smart link actually works with the gorilla arms? That's the thing I'm confused about. I don't know if it actually works with the gorilla arms like that. Hmm. Or what actually makes either of these better than the other one. Actually, I can check out what else this guy has. Okay, I already have everything here from that. There's a Netwatch Diver. Tetronic Rippler. Reduces quick hack upload time. Quick hack cooldown reduced by 45%. So I've had this before. What's the difference between this one? Here's the damage. Oh yeah, I do prefer that one. Alright, do you have anything else? No, nope. definitely wouldn't want either of those. That's common, I wouldn't want that. I don't think there's anything better than the eyes I already have. Oh yeah, that's 20%. Why would I settle for that one? So let's go ahead and switch that since I already own it. And actually, let's see what he has for trade. That's for mono wire. Yeah, there we go. Electric damage and chemical damage. So it does have both of these. That's for Berserk. Destroys all perk points. Ah, I'm kind of confused on what. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the the electric. Appreciate it. All right. So, since I have the ability for it, because right now I'm using chemical. So let's go ahead and switch these back to. Electric, because I think it's still, I, st I think I still like electric more because I can deal with bots dealing additional damage when I need to, and at least for humans, it has the ability to apply shock. Of course, it's been a minute, so let me go ahead and save in case something else happens. Be too careful with this game. Alright. Wait a minute, what's this one? Try talking to Barry in a few hours. Okay, seems like the PD's taking an interest in a neighbor of yours. Even sound like they knew each other. Okay, so I can actually finish that off a little bit later. It's a little additional thing that I got. 
it'll take over this one because I literally can't talk to Johnny right now. Um, we're still in Watson, so we can go ahead and go take on the Psycho Killer. Looks like Regina wants you to turn into a one-man army in the fighting. Yep, so let's go ahead and track this one down. It should be in Watson somewhere, so... Just need to find the one with the Cyber Psycho. Maybe this is the one I need to go to to talk to Johnny. That one I'm not so certain about. Okay, that's thievery. It's supposed to be in Watson somewhere, so. This person located here. Saboteur. I'm not seeing the one about the Cyber Psycho. It's the only thing. It's supposed to be here in Watson. I mean, there's only so many locations here. So it's fine. Oh. I think I would have to drive around until I actually heard something about the Psycho. So that one I can at least ignore, ignore for now because it's not going to tell me anything. Kind of lowers things down a bit. So it looks like the two I can jump into. Which is, I think I'll come back to this because it's some hours later. So, I'm guessing I'm going beat on the brat. Alright, I heard somewhere the champ of Ario is a grade A prick. Good news. Should make beating his A all the more fun. Alright. Go to the fight in Ario. Good distance away. Literally port myself there, have my old fight, jump on to the next one. Oh, which one would be the closest one? Probably be better to go to let's go with this one. If I go on the other one, it's probably on the lower level on the bridge, so it better be on the main street. Alright, call my ride. person's up here? Or is that person downstairs? Of course, my legs aren't working again. That's getting a little bit annoying. It's literally not letting me jump right now. Talk to these people. That's possible. 
Okay, she's just throwing up. Okay, it's leading me over here. The only one I see over here is this person right here. What do you want? Obviously, you don't have anything. The only thing I can think of is that it actually must be further downstairs. If that's okay, a thing. I really need to yeah, it looks like it's down. Okay, if it's down, that means it's gonna be over here somewhere. Now it's just it's literally it feels like certain areas just simply won't let me do it. Yeah, he's down here. Let's be the person right here. A Rostovich? You blind motherfucker? Tetronica Logos right there. The SPT 32 grad. Best sniper ever made, hands down. I got a fight here, you buck. In the flesh. <laughs> Looking at you's making my wallet wet. Yo, I'm putting all I got against you. Hmm. No lack in confidence, I see. And I'll show you why. This arm's military issue. Titanium bones, carbon fiber. Could punch a hole through a tank if I wanted. So, we got a deal? Was that piss I smell dripping down your leg? <laughs> oh, boy. This rifle, Grad, as you said. Where'd you get it? A little souvenir from when I served. Why? Just curious. Heard that was a limited series. Only 300 manufactured. KGB issue. Well, well. I see I got a gun enthusiast on my hands. But we ain't here to talk iron. We're here to break bones and crack chrome. So, you accept my offer or not? <laughs> yes, I'm definitely going with this option. I don't know. I'll raise you instead. Told you already. I'm laying out all I got. I uh, toss in the sniper. I mean, that is, unless you're scared. Of you? I don't give a fuck about you. Done. Rifle's on the table. Follow me. Bro, him, let's go. You ready? I'm ready. Not too scared, are you, Buttercup? <laughs> I look forward to it. Like that? You like getting your ass beat, huh? Oh, where you go? You ran right into that one. Let's go. Done. Or I'll rip that tongue out. Come on. Hand over the rifle. Oh, my rotten meat. Get him! Here we go! Oh, really? Medic! Losing soldiers here! Oh, you tried to run up on me. Let's go. Where'd you go? Trip trying to save you, boy. Where he at? You giving it up yet? I do get more experience from taking these guys out because I realize they're not actually dead dead. Ooh. A 
I'll take it. Well, how good is this? You, you talking about how grand it is. Oh, it is iconic. Hmm. You know what? If I want to use... I would use this for the, the missions I can't complete. Actually, uh, only when I'm actually leveling the... Um, yeah, I will do it for the ones, not the missions, not the side jobs, but the other missions where I can just run around the um, NCPD ones. I would use it for the very hard ones because I can at least take them out from a distance. This one I can most definitely love. It, so that back on my fist. Good. All right, who's our next one? All right, so now we're gonna go take out Glenn. Actually, would this one be defeat all opponents to get to the final round? Oh, okay. So I would need to take out this individual. Actually, if it's one on one, I would actually not have an issue with beat on the brat. If it's one on one. A true one on one. I think I'd be fine. So I, I think I will chance this one. If it turns out to be one of those ones where these guys are coming out all guns blazing, then I'll see how I'll survive till the end with that one. So let's go ahead and jump to this one. Time for another rumble. This time in the Glen. I'd put money on their champ being a Valentino. Yeah, I can see him now. Two golden fists and a machete across his back, you know? In case things get dicey and take a turn for the unsportsmanlike. Oh, you mean like the one I just went through? Actually, it won't be too bad if they if they actually have just weapons in their hand. That, that's not too bad. Okay, this one's actually not too far away. You said you were looking for work. And I found it! No, this isn't work. Have you ever thought what would happen to us if we lost you? Lost all our money? Either you change Cesar, or I change the locks. Yeah, you better get to work. Real job. You say, Czar, I'm here for my fight. Yeah, that's me. Tough is equal to puta in the Glen. Mm-hmm. And the worst father in Night City. Michaela, baby! I know what I'm doing! You gotta I'm trust me! You. First you spend a fortune on Chrome, and now... I, ugh, I give up! Beat some sense into him for me, okay? He needs a good lesson. Oh, you got it. Michaela! Michaela, wait for fuck's sake! Listen, I need a lot of scratch and fast. That's why I'm only taking serious wagers. I'm putting my ride on the line. Either you match it in cash, or you can forget about the fight. 
Ooh, ooh. All right, let's talk. What's the car? A real gem, a tuned up 2056 classic, but with only 20,000 miles on her. No dings, no patch jobs. Uh huh. And stolen? No, 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 none of that. She's legit. I give you my word. Listen, you don't like the deal? Don't take it. Just don't drag this out. Time is money, and I'm running out of both. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Johnny's hilarious. I already tell that. I'm, I'm gonna like having Johnny along with this ride. Okay, I'll match it. We good? All good. Let's go. Press so bare hands only, right? No pulling any mono wires or mantis blades out of your ass? Just right. real arms. Straight grill arms. I asked because the last guy I fought tried to surprise me with long spurs. Anyway, you ready to start? You gonna fight here with the kids? Yep. Ready to rumble. Careful now. I don't fuck around. I don't wanna get shot! Oh, okay. Oh, you good at dodging. Stop! Stop the fight! Can't you see he's had enough? Well, she came back for you, man. She came back for Caleb, you. Caleb, baby. Oh, I'm sorry, shit. I... Not another word, you pendejo. Hand over the stupid keys and let's go home. Here. Spoiler for me. Keep it. Everything. I won't take anything from you. You... I mean, really? Not my type of joke. Listen, I... Shit, I, I, I don't know how to thank you. Just don't lose what you still got left. Don't intend to. Oof, we dodged one there, huh? Uh-huh. Bendejos have all the luck. Any ideas for a name? Hmm. Something with a V? V approved. <laughs> or maybe because it's Valentino. <laughs> Do you need something? Oh, it's that one guy. It's a fixer. I'm wondering where he's going to show up. Where does you realign Caesar's face? Oh, Coach Fred. <laughs> Where is Coach Fred, actually? Oh, there he is. Yeah, that's right. I did it. It was me. All right. So the last one I actually need to look into would be this one. Whew. Take care other things until Fred calls you back. Oh, so I guess I gotta wait until he actually calls me for that one. Which is on the same line of... I'm gonna have to look up this one, The Ballad of Buck Ravers, because literally, it tells me to talk to Johnny, but I can't talk to Johnny that freely like like I said he literally just pops up whenever he wants to so I'm thinking I need to continue the story along to a point where I can actually freely talk to him so the only thing I can think of uh, right now is to go on to this one is to try to talk to Barry here which thankfully uh, my apartment is very close so the one thing I need to look for is there we go Cross street without getting ran over. All right, I need to get over to where my apartment is. I do like the location of this uh, 
this one here. Like, they didn't put the teleport downstairs where you had to go in and then go up the elevator. It's right outside your door. If I remember correctly, he's right down my stairways. Yep, and it's a couple hours later, so I should be able to go talk to this guy. Barry, am I remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? I just wanted to see what was shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. I think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. And you get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. I lost someone close to me too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. It's about Andrew. He, uh... Told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. I'm guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. The son of a bitch had corporal protection. <sighs> Typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. A few months later, Andrew passed and everything went to shit. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes, according to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? Normally. From old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. The whole world should gaze up at it in awe. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. So then Andrew is more like a grandpa to you than a friend? Hmm. We can go that far. He was like a... I don't know. A window into the past or something. He reminded me of my gram-grams. About our little talks. Time when everything had its proper place. You know? He was the last... living record... of those times. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive? If he felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. Find Andrew's niche. If 
people are talking to the cops. Okay, so maybe it's something in this apartment. You don't mind if I snoop around, right? Forward to the second edition. I was fortunate after publishing the first edition of this book. Nothing has anything to do with uh, that one guy, so uh, it must be in here. Leave it, all right? Barry, they hate you babbling about. Pull yourself together, June. Guys gotta be tough, especially in this damn city. I don't know what kind of telenovelas you've been watching, but this sad, sad BS ends now. You and I are going toward beer. How's this Thursday? Hey Barry, just wanted to check in, see if everything's okay. The way you just quit all of a sudden. Was that because of Andrew? I'm sure he's a great guy and all, but life goes on. There are lots of good people out there. Who's gonna protect them if hard-working blues like you go quitting the force? Nadia. Barry, how come you're not answering? You don't talk to anyone, you don't go out. You can't blame a person for thinking the worst. You still worried about all that, you know, stuff. Don't you think you're overreacting just a teeny bit? I don't want to talk to any of you. Tell Mendez to stop trying to call me. <laughs> Alright, let's check out these files. 12 3rd, 2076, remains of one Rudolf Franz were found in a dumpster on Santa Maria Street. The victim had been conducting an independent media investigation into the black market for trauma team patients' data. The body was found with multiple stab wounds in the back. Investigation discontinued by order of NCPD Chief of Police. Between the days of January 15, 2077 and, and the 20th of 2077, more than a dozen individuals from the ages 5 and 13 were killed in Aereo District. All victims showed signs of severe radiation sickness, most likely due to playing with unmarked radiation waves from a nearby power plant. An inquest has been opened into a corporate negligence on the part of Petrogen. Inquest discontinued by the NPCD Chief of Police. From the night of February 21st, 2077 to the morning of February 22nd, 2077, three Valentino gang members suspected of murdering their journalist Rudolf Franz, CKs from 12-3, escaped from the cell D-14 for unspecified reasons. All prison guards due to be present at the scene have been requested to report to NCPD Chief of Police. Investigating discontinued. Oh man, this guy, this guy right here. So, there's gotta be something, there's gotta be something more. It says find Andrew's niche, but at the same time. There's like nothing else in here. Let's we'll talk to him again. No. Oh, okay. It's not that far away. Does that mean he lived close by? That's all I'm wondering. Oh, of course, it's only because it's the elevator. So maybe I can look at the map and see. It's not showing me anything. I probably need to get downstairs first. Cured by replacing the effective tissue with 
So, uh, are we gonna talk about yesterday? It's all in the report. Oh, I read it. Except there's no mention of me telling you to tell Okay, I remember that conversation. I went through that. Oh, that guy does live a distance away. Okay. It's a far enough distance away. Okay, so... Hmm. Don't tell me that's a Jin Gucci dress. Would you rather I lie? You better just run up on this and ride there. Ooh. Definitely going in the wrong direction. turn I've ever made yet. annoyed that it was a literal teleportation right here. That's okay. I won't buy anything from you. Chill. Gotta be ah uh, over here. And then we could go and see her together every day. Honey, I'm sorry. Okay, she's bringing me over here. So it's gotta be around here somewhere. Is this it right here? Oh. Okay, so I can get close enough to read these. If there's one present. So Caroline, that's not saying anything. Look out! We're good, we're good.
Here we go. In loving memory of my best friend, Andrew, you were a tortoise, but you listened like a person. You were with me when Granny explained what was right. You are the last memory of a better world. Rest in peace. You are standing in a place of eternity. Wait. Lighting candles and spray painting. Um. A tortoise? Is this some kind of joke? I don't know about you, but Barry didn't seem like the kind of pig to crack jokes. But a tortoise? <laughs> it makes no sense, Johnny. Barry said he was the only person he could spill his guts to. That not a good enough reason to buy a niche in a wall? Pay a visit from time to time? Gonk Blue Eddie's looking after an expensive-ass tortoise. Just so he could talk to it? That sound normal to you? Picture this. You've got no one. Beloved Granny's been in the ground for years. Only thing she's left behind's a dumb fucking tortoise. But when Grandma told you about life, that tortoise was there. When that same life kicked you in the nads, when poor Gramps croaked, it was right there. Imagine how alone you've got to be to buy a niche for a goddamn animal. Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning. Now you're starting to get it. His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime. And considering me talking... Hmm. Well, I guess I gotta talk straight to the... Wait a minute. Oh, of course he disappears. You're killing me, Johnny. You're killing me. Alright, so if I gotta talk to the cops, then... I preferred to talk to him one-on-one, -on -one considering his two friends are, uh, how should I say... They don't... Either of them don't seem to be the helpful sort. Not for this situation. I think I'd have better... I think I had a better way of talking to him, and I was more relatable than his two officer friends. Especially after reading those uh, emails and hearing his first-hand account. But then again, he's also cuckoo for Cocoa Post right now. Oh, there they are. <laughs> it's you. You talked to Barry? He finally decided to get his shit together? For cry out loud, Mendez. Got another dry, sun filled week coming your way, Night City. Hey, so what did Barry tell you exactly about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. Barry's in great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny? The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle Bad's life too well. He made fun of him. So he stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was... a tortoise. His best friend. And a memento of his grandma. Until he died, that is. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me! Right, because I like to bullshit badges in my spare time. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about that tortoise like it was a normal person. I just think Mendez would react if Barry admitted that he was talking to animals. Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, that he'd get over it. I gotta go and talk to him. About time. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Well, thank you. Hopefully, actually, I gotta, yeah, I gotta check up here. Hopefully, he hasn't gone psycho. I already told you. 
You ain't got a warrant, you ain't coming in. Damn it, Barry. Can't we just talk? Petrova told me your last case was a real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirtbag was on the Petrochem board, so it was out of our hands. I remember it to this day, a little kid's t-shirt, green, with this funny yellow cat. <laughs> Get in. What? Really? I'm trying to hear what's going on. You bent? Ah. That sad me. Okay, so. I can't do this one because I gotta wait till Fred calls. Actually, Fred is literally around the corner. I can literally go talk to him. Maybe I can speed things along a bit. Fred, Fred, we gotta talk. Well, I'm not getting rid of this. I'm keeping that. Um, well, you don't really have anything I'd want to use. And I don't have anything I'd want to sell. Suicides aren't good. Okay, so it looks like <clears throat> these are all the kind that are just straight timed. This one I had to drive around the city just to figure out uh, where this is going down. So I'm going to drop this here and uh, when we get back we're just going to continue on with the main story a bit further ahead and uh, see where that lands us. Till then. <laughs>